one teaspoon of um, avocado oil. I'll do some street food cooking. Because enough of you guys never see. Oh, Crick is in the building. Tisha, big up herself. Brenda, big up herself. Thank you so much for all of you guys. Brenda, big up herself every time. For every one of you guys who take the time and support Chef Ricardo Journey. I appreciate it. All right. So first of all, what we're going to do, we're going to um, put a, a few um, fermenter seeds in the pot to have, in the eye like that. All right. And then um, we're going to use some cloves. Let's ice it up a little bit more. Because probably no one see why I go on the pot. I don't know why I didn't... Um, I should have um, get the camera and put it there. But that's fine. That's good still. Still I get the recording. Chef Art still come over and I support Chef Ricardo CMWA. I hope up vibes. Yeah. Good vibes. Alright people. Yeah man. So. What we're going to do. We're going to show now. Ready. And then we're going to get. We're gonna show them what to do, guys. Look at this, and that's what I want to know, guys, to watch that video. Yeah. Uh, this is a normal video. Ginger. All right, we got some ginger. This is a Jamaican kind of street cooking. I'm gonna go into something different, but we're gonna twist it with some different kind of recipe. All right, we got some ginger in it. We're gonna put some paprika. Roughly about half teaspoon of paprika into it, into it all right? And we're gonna put some turmeric inside of it. All right. If you have fresh turmeric, you can use it. I got some fresh one, but I'll put them in my fridge already. guys yeah man so watch that video yeah and sit back and enjoy the flight and you know what i mean just a little something different right here because a whole papi class a chef ricardo you've been switching up your diet this is the working for you and i'm saying yeah but me know if we do things we're gonna put some curry inside of it like that one teaspoon of jamaican curry tell them say yes everything good Still know if you do the things here in our kitchen and it will work properly. So we're going to put some cumin seed all the way to India. I love these little seeds guys. And I don't cook with these, you know, but I'm going to give it a little bit of a twist. You know, I'm going to give it a little bit of a twist. No idea, yeah. Here it is. We're going to put some uh, fennel seeds in it. Then I'm just going to bring in. Alright. Um, you know, say I brought it from a big company, Jamaica Valley. That's where I, brought, I get my Dutch from. Yeah, man. I got it, Dutch pot. I'm going to put a little bit of all purpose season inside of it. Alright, that's Jamaica, um, Jamaica Valley Dutch pot. Check out, let's go to Jamaica Valley. J J A M A I C A V E L L E Y Jamaica Valley dot com. Check out the Dutch pot. Yeah, man. The Dutch pot proper. Yeah. Um. Oh, let's make a put in that some garlic. I'm gonna put some garlic in it, guys. Tomorrow we're gonna do curry jackfruit. So, 
Look out for the curry jack fruit tomorrow, guys. You know what I mean? Garlic. All right, that's the garlic. All right. Westbrook, pick up yourself. <laughs> Merry Christmas. All right. Yeah, man. A one teaspoon oil on the oil stretch out like a 10 tablespoon. Trisha, pick up yourself. See you. Pick up yourself. All right. Put some purple onion. Carrot. Yeah. Chop up some carrot, you know. Tomato. Yeah, man. Good vibes. Uh, Jamaican street food, guys. All right. I'm making Jamaican street food. If you missed the video, it will be on my YouTube channel, Chef Ricardo Cooking. Um, we're gonna use a little bit of the Jamaican Valley jerk seasoning, guys. I want a nice, I love this one. Worth about half teaspoon. This one is nice. Yeah. Yeah. I want to just fry off that beautiful flavor into the pot. favorite guys tomorrow is curry jackfruit day not today yeah that's tomorrow tomorrow is meat free monday Tomorrow. 
Corey, jump food tomorrow, guys. That one's gonna be a big one tomorrow. Look at that. Yeah, man, that looking good, isn't it? Jamaican scotch bonnet proper. Fresh time. See that guys yeah man so that look nice i did this bit version yesterday and a lot of people was like chef ricardo general star we need to see curry jack food but we're not gonna do that today tomorrow me free monday that one gonna be an normal one guys vanessa big up yourself harry big up yourself That looking good, look at that. Excellent chef Ricardo. That's not normal, man. You can't get this to book for buying at the supermarket. Alright. Later on, I'm gonna do a detoxing later on. I have to. Now, some of you guys, this is what you can do with your okra. But me like my okra chunky. You can boil them off into some water. But me like my one a little bit chunky. You understand? Yeah. Me like my okra them a little bit chunky. Like I get back. What's supposed to get back from the okra? You understand? Yeah. So I'm just cut up the okra and that's how the okra look. Alright. Yeah. You're supposed to feel a little bit of chunkness to the okra. Alright. This is some Jamaican Kalalo. I brought this in the supermarket. This is Jamaican Valley Kalalo. The best in the world. Mix it together. Alright, mix all of that on an amazing color low, everything. Alright, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. So, that's what I'm talking about right there. Good vibes. Good, good, good vibes. Tomorrow, we got the curry jack fruit. see that one tomorrow that one not gonna be a normal one So you see, look at that, perfect. So what we're gonna do, because okra easy to cook guys. All right, you don't wanna overcook the okra. So you wanna cover it and turn off the cooker. Allow that for it to go on cooking itself. All right, don't rush it. Mm -hmm. Later on, I'm going to be doing a detoxing. I think I will do that on my empty side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will do that one on my empty side later on. Detoxing. Excellent, guys. See that? Am I kind of cooking this for you guys today? Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, man. Vanessa, what's going on? For me, the other day, I eat so much fruits and vegetables. The other day, I have to cut off of the fruits and veg for a little bit. And then I go back on some natural food. Uh, don't worry, Chef Ricardo is like, uh, but this evening, we're going to be doing a detoxing this evening. Detoxing the body. Yeah. We're going to detox the body this evening. Have to. I know I have this one. I'm taking this one still. I'm taking a column cleanse at the moment. Make sure to know where I go on because some of the, me have some people who follow me and who respect Chef Ricardo thing. Let me tell you now, this is what I take some time for column cleanse. Aloe vera, column cleanse. All right? You need this. You see, this get rid of everything right there, sir. Just like how you have to clean your sink. So I use this to clean my sink. All right? So this is how some of my people who follow me every single day and cook or sometimes when me cook, this is what I have to do sometimes. Column cleanse. All right? I take one a day, 60 in a hit. All right? So if you can get this, get this. Because this helps to clear out your sink. Some of the people don't understand when I said sink. You know what is a sink? Where your food go and sit. Just like your sink. Sometimes when you wash your plate, some of the waste stay right there in the sink and need to wash out. So you have to use drain cleaner. Now, this is my drain cleaner. I take one a day and this clean out my stomach. That send me to that place and everything come through the waste. All right? So nothing not stuck up inside of me. I may feel heavy. I may feel tired. I may can't get, forget a good night's sleep. I'm sharing the tips and ideas what I do. And I take my vitamin B12 and also my vitamin C and also my vitamin D. All right? Build up your immune system and prepare your immune system for the new time for come next term is coming. So this is something where you guys need to go to the supermarket and buy. If you can't get this one, then you can make natural juice to make it. That's why you see I drink a lot of natural juice. So when I eat all this kind of heavy food, I know what I'm doing. 
I'm gonna get rid of it. This won't be sitting to me as long. Get this and cleanse your body also. All right, this work, guys. I'm telling you, 100% this works, and I know because I've been using it. All right, so all of my beautiful people who follow me every single day, I'm not talking the one who just come on and come off because they just want to see what Chef Ricardo do. I'm not talking the one them who follow me and respect what I do, and every day I cook and I see what I do. Go and get this, all right? Take one a day when you come home in the evening, but after you eat, you take it, all right? And this will cleanse you, all right? This is from the people who follow me every day. That's the one who will just follow me and cut off and leave some comments and gone. That's one clear of everything before you even go to your bed, so you get to sleep good. Yeah, all right, because some people can't sleep at night and they must spin like a gig. Why? Because the food stuck up inside of you, just like your sink. Yeah, I'm going to some tips. Good vibes. All right, let's cheer up this, guys. Got some avocado. And... All right. Good vibes. We've got some. This is some Jamaican. You know what is this? Breadfruit, guys. I don't know if you guys know what is this. This is Jamaican breadfruit. All right. This is Jamaican. Um, what do you call that? Pumpkin. Piece of Jamaican yam. We got Jamaican banana. And Jamaican dumpling. All right. Yeah, we just have going some tips and ideas because a lot of people don't know when you eat them kind of food or how to get it back out of you. But me have a whole heap of things that I use. Me have to even use a pill. I got drinks that I use also. And this is that beautiful okra and kalalo curry. All right, we just want to go to something different. That's when you guys can see what I go on nice Sunday. Yeah. All right. Good vibes. So if you like this, you know exactly what to do. Leave your comments and tell a friend. And a friend tell a friend. My name is Chef Ricardo. I try my best to give you some of the world best ever food. And you know what I mean? Yeah, man. So this is something.